Hi friends, this is Eric Odie, and I am coming to you from my house. Well, we're not at a park, we're not, uh, oh, in a community center someplace, but this is a concert for the Shoreline Summer Series, and so a big thank you to the City of Shoreline for, for letting me spend some time with you today. Uh, this is a concert for the kids, so bring the kids over, we're going to get busy. I thought maybe I'd spend a little time right here in my living room, Maybe we'll go outside for a, for a few songs as well. But in order to get things busy, if you're feeling a little hungry, I think we're going to start off with a pizza song. So I brought with me my pizza hat. My pizza hat. Now, the reason why I brought my pizza hat, well, it's not because you can eat the pizza hat. You certainly cannot. Oh, wait, wait. You can't eat this hat, but I thought we'd all be... Pizza drivers, every one of us. Now, in order to be a pizza driver, there are some things you need to know. First off, you need to know that in order to be a pizza driver, you have to be quick. You have to be quick because no one wants cold pizza. And if we take too long, the pizza is going to get there cold. Nobody wants cold pizza. Well, maybe for breakfast sometimes. But today we want to get the pizza there hot. And uh, while obeying all the proper speed limits, and, and, and traffic signs and things like that, but get behind the wheel of your pizza van. Or you be, oh, did you get your seatbelt on? Get the seatbelt on. While you're driving, you can wave to the people as you drive by because they're a little jealous that you are a pizza driver and they are not. All right, you're behind the wheel. Grab the wheel. Here we go. I'm a pizza man in a pizza van. I'm making these deliveries as fast as I can. The pizza's got to be good and hot. If I want the people happy with the pizza they bought. I'm deep in the city at a big tall tower. With a veggie pizza topped with cheese and peas and cauliflower. I reach the elevator. There's a sign on the door. And the sign on the elevator says, Sorry, out of service. The elevator is not working. So what do we have to do? Yeah, we have to take the stairs to get us to the 13th floor. Are you up? Okay, we're going to climb these stairs. And it's a countdown, so you have to or count up. A count up. You have to count right back at me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Think my feet are getting sore. Five, six, seven, eight. Hope it isn't getting late. Nine, ten. Oh, I just might make it, but I'm not sure when. Eleven, twelve, thirteenth floor. We made it. Knock on the door. Hmm. Try again. Oh, pizza man. Your order, ma'am. Is it all right? Out of sight? Hot pizza tonight. Yes, beautiful. Okay, we made it in time, but we do have another pizza to deliver. So get behind the wheel again. Grab the wheel. I'm a pizza man in a pizza van. I'm making these deliveries as fast as I can. The pizza's got to be good and hot. If I want the people happy with the pizza they bought, I'm back in the city at a big skyscraper with a pepperoni pizza topped with cantaloupe and capers. I reach the elevator. There's a sign on the door. And the sign says, sorry, out of service. Huh, this elevator's not working either. What do we do? Yeah, we have to take the stairs to get us to the, the 17th floor. You ready? Okay, here we go. Remember, you count back. One, two, three, four. Think my feet are getting sore. Five, six, seven, eight. Hope it isn't getting late. Nine, ten. I just might make it, but I'm not sure when. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17th floor. Oh, knock on the door.
try again. Oh, pizza man. Your order, sir. Is it all right? Out of sight? Yes, hot pizza tonight. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we are two for two, but we do have another pizza to deliver. In fact, it's a big stack of pizzas, a big tiring pile, a pile of pizzas. Get behind the wheel. Oh, I'm a pizza man in a pizza van. I'm making these deliveries as fast as I can Cause the pizza's got to be good and hot If I want the people happy with the pizza they bought I'm back in the city at a big high rise With a stack of seven celery and pumpkin pizza pies I reach the elevator, there's a sign on the door The sign says, sorry, out of service Ah. So what do we do? Yeah, we take the stairs to get us to the 20th? 20th, the 20th floor. Okay, up the stairs, you count back. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Think my feet are getting sore. Five, six, seven, eight. Hope it isn't getting late. Nine. Ten. Oh, I just might make it, but I'm not sure when. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Hold on, I have to catch my breath. Whew. Whew. Okay, eighteen, nineteen, twentieth floor. Oh, knock on the door. Whew. Are we late? Oh, I hope we're not late. Oh, oh, pizza man. Your order, ma'am. Is it all right? Out of sight? Yes! Hot pizza tonight. Beautiful! Well, this is nice. I wanted to come out here outside because I had a few outdoorsy kinds of songs that I thought we should share. And, uh, and let's start with this one. I brought with me a, can you tell what it is? Yeah, a frog. What did it do? Kind of a frog song. It's, this is a song called At the Lily Patio. At the Lily Patio. Now, you might know what a lily pad is. A lily pad is that, uh, is that plant that you see floating there in the water. It's a big round leaf. And, uh, and if you could look through the water, you'd see that there's a stem that goes uh, down through the water and there the roots that dig into the soil, into the mud down below. And so it's a real, it's a real plant, but we just see the, the leaf floating there on top. And then a patio, a patio, well, this could be a patio. A patio is kind of a, maybe, maybe somebody's backyard, like off their, out their house or apartment, they might have a slab of concrete where you can, you can just hang out and maybe sing some songs, have a glass of lemonade, read a good book. That's a patio, but this is not a song about a patio it's not a song about a lily pad it's a song about a lily patio a lily patio and your job is to sing at the lily patio and it sounds like my, my chickens are going to help you out at the lily patio but not yet i'll let you know when where does a frog want to be at the end of the day Put your green feet up, chase the big bad blues away. Set aside your labors, call your friends and neighbors from around the fog. There's a cool paced place, life is easier than leaping off a log. That's pretty easy for a frog, so come on, let's go to the lily patio. We'll be taking it slow at the lily patio. Turn the lightning bugs low at the lily patio. Everybody you know is at the lily patio. All right, you know what would really help out this song? Frogs, I need to hear your best frog sounds. Ready? Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. When a romp in the swamp has been taking its toll I know a place cool, groove, and meant for soothing your amphibian soul Flea and beetle lemonade, moth and mosquito pies Days done, time is sure fun, and you're happy 
having flies. Ready? Come on, let's go to the lily patio. We'll be taking it slow at the lily patio. Turn the lightning bugs low at the lily patio. Everybody you know is at the lily patio. All right, and bring back the frogs if you would. Ready? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Maybe a bullfrog. Ribbit, ribbit. Life upon the pond is jumping, all that racket gets you grumping. Time to find a simple sort of scene. Night is waiting just ahead, tadpoles have been tucked in bed. We'll take it sweet and easy, being green. So come on, let's go to the lily patio. We'll be taking it slow at the lily patio. Turn the lightning bugs low at the lily patio. Everybody you know is at the lily patio. Turn on the radio at the lily patio. Where you wanna go at the lily patio? Turn the lightning bugs low at the lily patio. Everybody you know is at the lily patio. Everybody you know is at the lily patio. Everybody you know is at the lily patio. All right, last time. Bring in the frogs. Ready? Here we go. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. work okay so I brought brought the frog I also oh I brought this critter now I have to tell you something about this possum and and it's not something I'm proud of but it is the truth the truth is that there was a time when I didn't like possums I know that's not a very nice thing to say but it's true there was a time when I didn't like possums I thought that they were kind of scary and kind of spooky looking they have those uh, that 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 big pink nose and the big rat like tail and they've got all these teeth and they come out at night and I thought they looked kind of scary I didn't really like possums and then I decided I was going to write a song about possums and that meant I was going to have to learn some stuff learn about the possum I learned some things one thing I learned is that the possum has 50 teeth 50 well not this because it's a puppet it doesn't have any teeth but the possum has 50 teeth and uh and 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 she has thumbs on her back on her back feet to hold on to things and and she has a pouch like a kangaroo has a pouch and in that pouch the babies can grow up and safely they can they can get bigger and when they get big enough they can crawl up on mom's back and then she takes them for a ride that's pretty cool and i learned that uh oh i learned they eat ticks they eat thousands of ticks that's pretty cool. Ticks are a, a, a bug. They're an insect. They can get on you and they, they spread disease. And so it's kind of nice of the possums to eat those ticks for us. And uh, oh, and I learned about playing possum. Do you know about playing possum? Playing possum is when the possum is out and wandering around. Doo -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo, and maybe something big and scary comes along. Like a big, big dog. Big dog comes around and, and maybe barks at her. Bow, bow, bow. And she gets so scared that she rolls over. She falls over. She goes, bah! And, and her, her mouth hangs open, ah, and her tongue hangs out, ah, and she lets off this really bad smell, and, and she looks like she is dead. Yeah, she's not dead. Her body just takes over. Ah, and, and then when her body thinks it's safe, because the big thing has wandered away, then she kind of wakes back up again and goes back on her way, and that's called plain possum. It's also called thanatosis. Thanatosis, that's the fancy word for it. So here's the deal. During the song, every time I say the word thanatosis, you have to play possum. Ready? Yeah. Bah. So we'll, we'll practice. Here we go. Thanatosis. Do you get it? All right. Oh, this song also has an echo. So when, when I count one, two, you need to count one, two as well. We'll practice. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right. Who's that fuzzy critter hanging out in a tree? Possibly the possum with 50 fine teeth smiling down at me. Possibly the possum who's got a pink nose and pink paws too. Who's got herself a pouch like a crazy kangaroo? Who lived back with the dinosaurs? I've heard that it's true. One, two, one, two, three, four, three, four. Possums at the back door. Ready? 
Thanatosis. <laughs> Who's got her little babies clinging to her back? Possibly the possum who is busy eating bugs and slugs and berries for a snack. Possibly the possum who's got herself thumbs on her two hind feet. She's strutting slow and silently shuffling down the street with a long and clever tail. I think that's pretty neat. One, two, one, two, three, four. Possum's at the back door. Thanatosis. When you're passing by a possum, you'll likely stop to pause some. You'll think about that pointy snout, those mighty jaws and claws some. Tell your mom possum, soon you'll hear them shout it. The possum is awesome, no doubt about it. Thanatosis! <laughs> Who's sleeping in the morning, but exploring in the night? Possibly the possum. Lies so still and silent, she doesn't have to fight. Possibly the possum, that's right, it's possibly the possum. It's possibly the. Oh, it, it might be, it could be, it indubitably is the possum. Very nice. Now, the part I was going to tell you about that is, remember when I said that there was a time when I didn't like possums? Now I think possums are really cool. But I had to learn about them first. I think that happens a lot, right? There are a lot of things that we get kind of maybe a little, a little afraid of if we don't understand them. But if we take the time to learn about them, they're not scary at all. Okay, I brought a book with me. This is a book called Otters, Snails, and Tadpole Tales. Poems from the Wetlands. It's a collection of poems about about marshes and, and, and wetland areas and streams and ponds and the animals that live there and the insects and the and the plants. And down here it says by Eric Odie, and that's me. That makes me the the author. Sometimes called a poet, since these are poems, but it says illustrated by Ruth Harper. So we call Ruth Harper the illustrator. The illustrator. She did all these amazing jobs. Here's for instance, there's a, a, a poem about a salamander. Can you see the salamander illustration? Or here's a, an illustration of a frog. There's a frog poem. And uh, what else? Here's an, a snail, a fiddlehead fern, and a cattail, and a heron. I'm going to share a poem with you, but I'm not going to tell you what the poem is about. You have to guess. But if you listen for clues, I think you'll figure it out. So listen for clues. I'm going to give you this much of a clue. Let's see. Um, this is it's a poem about an animal, and you know it lives in a and maybe a, a a marsh or a swamp or a pond. All right. Listen for clues. Here we go. The does not complain of summer showers. He never cowers at the rain or finds a need to be upset at being wet. While others hide, he glides about, considering the pitter and patter splattering his feathered head as blessing and luck. Why should such weather matter to the... Did you guess? Did you guess what would have a feathered head, doesn't mind the rain, goes gliding about, it was the... The, the duck. Did you guess that one? All right, I'll tell you what, let's do one more. And um, let's try this one. Okay, one more. Listen for clues. Speak with the, if he'll dare, spare the time. Ask about his home of steeply heaped limbs, a home that first seems built with the carelessness of laundry piled upon an unmade bed. Speak with the, he will tell you instead, of how each bite felt against his teeth and tongue He'll talk of the taste, the smell, the delicious muddy thud of each tree as it finally fell. Did you get that one? What animal lives maybe in a marshy, swampy area and makes the trees fall down? Would that be the, the beaver? Did you get that one? Speak with the beaver if you'll dare spare the time. Outstanding. 
All right. Hey, I want to get in one more animal song. This is a song about a gopher. A gopher. Now, here's what I know about gophers. Gophers love their vegetables. Every bit as much as you love your vegetables, gophers love their vegetables. And they hang out in their gopher holes. They dig lots of tunnels, and sometimes they, they pop up out of their little gopher holes. They look around. Maybe they wave. I think they probably wave. And then they go back down into their little gopher holes. So here's the deal. During this song, every time I say the word gopher, if we're sitting down and I say the word gopher, we have to stand up. But if we are standing up and I say the word gopher, we have to sit back down again. I guess we'll find out by the end of the song if we're left standing or sitting. Are you ready? Here we go. We'll start by, by sitting. I've got a rake, a lovely rake. I've got a pair of gloves. I've got some seeds, for goodness sake, of all the vegetables I love. I've got a spot in my backyard. This garden work is not that hard. In no time we'll have chives and chard and beans. Like something out of Better Homes and Gardens magazines. You ready? But gophers in the garden. Are you standing up? Gophers underground. Gophers where the carrots and the cabbages are found. Gophers know where grow the rows of radishes and peas. Nothing grows where gophers go for gopher groceries. Nothing grows where gophers go for gopher groceries. Oh, nicely done. Are, are we up or down? Yeah, we should be down. I love the way tomatoes sway upon a morning breeze. I love a sunny summer's day with garden dirt upon my knees. Oh, you have to brush the dirt off your knees. Brush the dirt off. I love a snappy salad lunch with beets and Brussels sprouts that crunch. I'll have a few, I'll have a bunch, and then I'll run back to my garden where my vegetables had been. Ready? But gophers in the garden, gophers underground, gophers where the carrots and the cabbages are found. Gophers know where grow the rows of radishes and peas. Nothing grows where gophers go for gopher groceries. Nothing grows where gophers go for gopher groceries. Beautiful! Hang in there. I think we're back down again. If you should find you have in mind to build a garden grand, when it is time to dig and dine, there's someone who might lend a hand. This critter might decide to graze upon the veggies that you raise. He'll rob you blind, then sing your praise. It's true. Yes, someone digs a veggie garden just as much as you. Gophers in the garden, gophers underground. Gophers where the carrots and the cabbages are found. Gophers know where grow the rows of radishes and peas. Nothing grows where gophers go for gopher groceries. Nothing grows where gophers go for gopher groceries. Nothing grows where gophers... Are you up? Gopher! Gopher! Groceries! Gopher. Well, I wanted to do another animal song. In fact, I wanted to do a song about a raccoon. A raccoon. And I wanted to write a song all about the raccoon. And I thought maybe in the song it could explain why, a, why the raccoon has a, a mask. And why the raccoon has a striped tail. And then I thought maybe it would be fun if in that song it sort of sounded like the kind of song that, uh, that maybe, maybe Shel Silverstein would write. Maybe the Water Boys would sing. And so I came up with this, this song. Long time ago, so I've been told, raccoon walked in daylight, looking around for pots of gold, and diamonds shining so bright. Ask him, and he'd tell you, wouldn't it be grand? Chains of gold around my neck and shiny rings upon my hand. 
Now, in a wood, a castle stood where lived a wizard's daughter. A pleasant child, a gentle smile, hair that flowed like water, clothed in robes of satin, fancy as a queen. And on each finger rings of gold, the finest ever seen. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee, diddle, diddle, I die. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee, diddle, diddle, I die. Now, late one night, the moon was bright, all the world was sleeping. Raccoon thought the time was right, and so he set off creeping through a castle window, silent as a dream. And for the task, he wore a mask in case he should be seen. Very soon, he found the room where lay the daughter snoring. In the glimmer of the moon, the rings he was adoring, he snatched them from the table, sure he couldn't fail. But they were too big for his fingers, so he slipped them on his tail. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, dee. hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee. diddle, diddle, I die, dee. oh, hey, hey, diddle, diddle, dee. hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee. diddle, diddle, I die. Dee. Now, Raccoon may have slipped away, but night time took its toll now. He fell asleep, and there he lay, still with the rings he stole now. Morning, when the daughter woke to find the ring she wore. She looked around, and there she found the Raccoon on the floor. The wizard raced into that place, his daughter shocked and pale there. He saw the mask on Raccoon's face, the rings along his tail there. With an incantation that shimmered like the sun. He cast a spell so all could tell the things Raccoon had done. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, dee. Hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee. Diddle, diddle, I die, dee. Oh, hey, hey, diddle, diddle, dee. Hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee. Diddle, diddle, I die, dee. Oh. So now, my dears, when he appears, be certain what you'll find there. Know the mask the raccoon wears is there as a reminder. Once he felt so clever as he crept along the trail. Now he wears a mask forever, like the rings along his tail. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, dee. Hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee. Diddle, diddle, I die, dee. Oh, hey, hey, diddle, diddle, dee. Hey, diddle, die, diddle, dee. Diddle, diddle, I die, dee. Yeah, that was good. Oh man, I love that story. Yeah, that was great. I thought so too. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, you too, Nelson. Hey, 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 can you put me down now? Put you down? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'll put you down. Um, Put you down over there. Sorry about that, man. Well, how about another, uh, how about another Critter song? And, and this is a song about a bat. A bat. Now, have you ever seen a bat fly? There's a picture of a, a little brown bat. Have you seen a bat fly? They're amazing, aren't they? And they kind of go everywhere. They're like over here and over there. And do you know what they're chasing after? Yeah, bugs, mosquitoes, and moths, and things like that. Around here, all the bats that we have in this area are after bugs. And in the, in the daytime, when they're sleeping, they kind of sleep like that, don't they? They sleep upside down. And the nighttime comes around and they're all over the place chasing after those bugs. They're very busy. That's going to make you very busy, people. In order to do this bat song, you need to know that the bat goes up. Are you up? Down. Up. Turn around. To the left. To the right. Higher and higher. Down. Up. Down. Good, just like that. Okay, let's see how you do on a song for a very, very, very busy, busy bat. Underneath the rafter, what's he after with his upside down and his downside up? Waiting for the night time, when it's the right time he knows. There he goes, he goes up, he goes down, he goes up, turns around, to the left, to the right, higher and higher, he's down, he's up, he's 
down. He's a supernatural flyer. No denying, he knows where it's at. Look at that acrobat. Dancing in the moonlight. Very soon he might be tree top high. Touching the sky, turning and diving. What a ride, what a show. Watch him go, he goes up, he goes down, he goes up, turns around to the left, to the right. Higher and higher, he's down, he's up, he's down, he's a supernatural flyer. No denying, he knows where it's at. Look at that acrobat. Okay, bat wings out, you go fly. Nobody flies through the nighttime skies like the acrobat. Nobody flies through the nighttime skies like that. He goes up, down, up, turns around, to the left, to the right. Higher and higher, he's down, he's up, he's down. He's a supernatural flyer. Let's go again, ready? He goes up, down, up, turns around, to the left, to the right. Higher and higher, he's down, he's up, he's down. He's a supernatural flyer. No denying, he knows where it's at. Look at that acrobat. Ooh, look at that acrobat. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, okay. Well, wait. One more, one more animal song. How about, how about a song for a, a skunk? A skunk. This is a skunk song, not just any skunk. This is a song about my favorite skunk, and her name is Jessie. Her name is Jessie, and it goes like this: The night was cold. The sky was dark and drizzly when Jessie Skunk took shelter in a cave. But all at once she woke a mama grizzly. This tale is turning desperate and gray. Oh, what a treat, the grizzly said. I'll eat you, then go back to bed. Poor Jessie Skunk is no one near to save the day. But Jessie Skunk is quite all right. She'll walk away without a fight. When times are tough, I think she might be smarter than you thunk. So never fear and give a cheer. Can you cheer? Hooray! Hooray for Jessie Skunk. Jessie Skunk stepped in an elevator to travel to the 32nd floor. But right behind her came an alligator who chuckled at the closing of the door. The gator said, I have a hunch. I found a tiny tasty lunch. Now no one dares to use that elevator anymore. But Jessie Skunk is quite all right. She'll walk away without a fight. When times are tough, I think she might be smarter than you thunk. So never fear and give a cheer. Hooray, hooray for Jessie Skunk. Jessie took a cruise ship to Aruba. She lounged about the beach till after dark. But one day as she taught herself to scuba, she came upon a hungry tiger shark. The shark said, you're not fish or eel, but still you'll make a tasty meal. I'll skip the soup and salad and be dining a la carte. But Jessie Skunk is quite all right. She'll walk away without a fight. When times are tough, I think she might be smarter than you thunk. So never fear and give a cheer. Hooray! Never fear and give a cheer. Hooray! Hooray for Jessie Skunk. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. How about a couple more here inside before we go back outside and since we did a, a song that included a, a shark, let's do, let's do a 
pirate poem. I brought my pirate hat and I brought a different book with me. This, this one is a book of pirate poems. It's called When You're a Pirate Dog and Other Pirate Poems. Down here it says, written by Eric Odie. And that's me. That makes me the author. And it says, illustrated by Jim Harris. So we call Jim Harris the illustrator. He did amazing work. He did illustrations like that. Isn't that outstanding? A walrus who is a pirate or... I like, oh, I like, now that's a pirate hat. That is a seriously good pirate hat right there. But I'm going to share with you the, the last, no, the first, the first poem of the book. And the first poem of the book is called When You're a Pirate Dog. When You're a Pirate Dog. And you can help me with this poem. When I raise my book up in the air, we need to all together say, when you're a pirate dog. Let's practice together. Here we go. When you're a pirate dog. Good. Except it didn't sound very pirate-like. I think we should try again a little more piratey this time. Here we go. When you're a pirate dog. Arr! Good. Ready? Here we go. When you're a pirate dog. Arr! The pirates treat you well. And no one minds your doggy breath or hates your doggy smell. And no one worries if you shed or where you lay your shaggy head. And all the fleas are theirs instead. When you're a pirate dog, arg. Ready? When you're a pirate dog, arg. They pet you when they're able. They never mind their manners as they feed you from the table. And when they sing a pirate song in jolly voices loud and strong, you raise your chin and sing along. When you're a pirate dog, arg. Here we go. When you're a pirate dog, arg. Your life is free from troubles. They never put you in a tub with smelly soap and bubbles. You spend your days on sea and sand exploring with your pirate band and life is sweet and rather grand. When you're a pirate dog. Arrgh! Very nice. Okay, I'll tell you what, before we go back outside for a minute, how about if we do one more kind of a jungly sort of a, sort of a song since that was, pirates always make me think of the jungles and buried treasure and Let's do a song about my favorite animal in the whole wide jungle. And that would have to be the hippopotamus. And in order to sing the hippopotamus song, you need to know that when the hippo goes stomping through the jungle, he goes like this, boom, boom. Practice with me, boom, boom, just like that. Here we go. And when you figure out how to sing this song, help me sing it because there aren't that many words. Stomping through the jungle is the hippopotamus. Boom, boom. Stomping through the jungle is the hippopotamus. Boom, boom. With sandpaper skin from top to bottomus. How I love that hippopotamus. Boom, boom. Very nice, but where do hippos really like to hang out? Yeah, in the water, right? They like to swim. So we're going to send them swimming in the river. When he goes swimming in the river, we go splish, splash. Like you're dusting cracker crumbs off your hands. Swimming in the river is the hippopotamus. Splish, splash, boom, boom. Did you get that? Swimming in the river is the hippopotamus. Splish, splash, boom, boom. With sandpaper skin from top to bottom is how I love that hippopotamus. Splish, splash, boom, boom, perfect. But now the hippo is getting kind of restless. He is going to go chasing monkeys. When he goes chasing monkeys, we scratch at our sides. We make our best monkey noises. Here we go. Chasing all the monkeys is the hippopotamus. Woo, woo, woo. Splish, splash, boom, boom. Chasing all the monkeys is the Hippopotamus, hoo hoo hoo, splish splash, boom boom. With sandpaper skin from top to bottomus. How I love that hippopotamus, hoo hoo hoo, splish splash, boom boom, wonderful. Now this hippo is getting very hungry and he is going to go eating mangoes. And you get your, your big hippopotamus mouth out, you say, munch, munch. Ready? 
eating all the mangoes is the hippopotamus. Munch, munch, hee hee hee, splish, splash, boom, boom. Eating all the mangoes is the hippopotamus. Munch, munch, hee hee hee, splish, splash, boom, boom. Sandpaper skin from top to bottom is how I love that hippopotamus. Munch, munch, hee hee hee, splish, splash, boom, boom, wonderful. All right, now this hippo is tired. He's a sleepy hippo. And we need to put our, our pillow hands here and we'll snore. All right, all together. Sleeping in the jungle is the hippopotamus. Munch, munch, hee hee hee, splish, splash, boom, boom. Sleeping in the jungle is the hippopotamus. Munch, munch, hee hee hee, splish, splash, boom, boom. Sandpaper skin from top to bottom is how I love that hippopotamus. Munch, munch, hee hee hee, splish, splash, boom, boom. Perfect. All right, let's go back outside. Well, my friends, I think we have just enough time for one more song today. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, again, this is part of the, uh, the City of Shoreline Summer Series, Summer Concert Series. I'm here at home, not with you at the parks like we'd like to be, but this is okay. So again, thanks for spending a little time with me. My name is Eric Odie. Let's get in one more song. And, and for this song, this song is filled with animals and it's going to start with a parakeet. You know what a parakeet is, right? Parakeet is a type of a bird and they have little parakeet bird beaks. So get those parakeet bird beaks up. And this song has a caribou. A caribou is a type of a deer. It's like a reindeer. So antlers up for the caribou. And this song has a barracuda. And a barracuda is a fish, a very toothy, toothy fish. So gills up for the barracuda. This is not American Sign Language. This is silly. Okay, so what do we have so far? We have a parakeet, and a caribou, and a barracuda, and a kangaroo, and a panda, and a cockatoo. A cockatoo is also a type of bird, but they have these very fun mohawk feathers up on top, and a polar bear. We'll do this because in American Sign Language, this is for bear, so let's do this for polar bear. Let's do the whole thing again. Here we go. Parakeet, caribou, barracuda, kangaroo, panda, cockatoo, polar bear. Here we go. Dear mother, dear father, I thought I ought to mention my birthday is approaching. I know it's your intention to give me all I'd ever wish. And so to be insightful, I've made a list of all the gifts I think would be delightful. You ready? I'd like a parakeet, a caribou, a para barracuda, a kangaroo from Paraguay, a panda from Bermuda, a cockatoo from Kathmandu, a polar bear, would you get a parakeet, a caribou, a para barracuda? I know my bliss and happiness is your desire, surely. You'll want to memorize the list and start your shopping early. To make your life much easier, I took this pad and pen. Line by line, I found the time to write this down again. I'd like a parakeet, a caribou, a para barracuda. A kangaroo from Paraguay, a panda from Bermuda, a cockatoo from Kathmandu, a polar bear, or would you get a parakeet to caribou, a para barracuda? I telephoned the pet store with this fancy list of mine. They agreed you'd likely need to shop it all online. We'll keep them in my brother's room. That's not a problem, is it? I'm pretty sure the hippo will appreciate the visit. He'd like a parakeet, a caribou, a para barracuda, a kangaroo from Paraguay, a panda from Bermuda, a cockatoo from Kathmandu, a polar bear, would you get a parakeet, a caribou, a para barracuda, a parakeet? Do you have your parakeets back up? Good, and a caribou, and an octopus, do you have an octopus, and a walrus, and a giraffe, an elephant. And a, a pterodactyl and a para barracuda.
Oh, outstanding. Take care, everyone. Thanks again.